Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about research. The basic concern of this lecture is to understand what is research actually. And this lecture is going to give you some definitions of the research. So let's get started. But before we start, I would request you to subscribe for this channel if you have not done it yet. And don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. So let's start with the research. Remember, research is a search for knowledge. It is a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic. Research is an art of scientific investigation. There is a definition of research given by Akop Russell. It is a careful investigation or inquiry, especially through search for new facts in any branch of knowledge. Redmond and Murray defines research as a systematized effort to gain new knowledge. The references given on your screen, that is reference one of Eckhoff Russell Yell, The Design of Social Research, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 1961, and 2, Eckhoff Russell Yell, Scientific Method, New York, John Willey and Sons, 1962, are the references given according to the SOS numbering method. In humanities, SOS numbering method is not followed. In humanities, we follow MLA latest version. Okay. Now, let's talk about these two definitions of research. In the first definition, research is a careful investigation or inquiry, especially through search for new facts in any branch of knowledge. Now, what does it say? It says that research is an investigation. What kind of investigation is it? It is a careful investigation or you can call it inquiry. This inquiry is carried out, especially carried out through a search for new facts. And this can happen in any branch of knowledge. I mean, this is applicable for everything. Now let's come to the second definition of the research, that is, research is systematized effort to gain new knowledge. It's almost similar to the earlier one, but what is here? It Here are a few words used like systematized. So research is an effort to gain new knowledge, but these efforts need to be systematized and therefore Redmond and Mori defines research as a systematized effort to gain new knowledge. There is another definition of research given by Clifford Woody. According to Clifford Woody, research comprises defining and redefining problems, formulating hypotheses or suggested solutions, collecting organizing and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions, and at last carefully testing the conclusions to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis. This is comparatively a longer definition of research, but it includes many things in it. Therefore, it becomes a comprehensive definition of research. Let's try to understand this again. According to Clifford Woody, the definition of research is something that comprises defining and redefining the problem. See, first thing, we need to have a problem. This problem needs to be refined and redefined. After defining and redefining the problem, we need to formulate a hypothesis or suggest a few solutions for this. Then it is about collecting, organizing and evaluating data. For research, we need data. After organizing and evaluating data, it is important to make deductions and reach a few conclusions. When you deduct, you reach the conclusions. And at last, research is also about carefully testing the conclusions in order to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis because we actually prepare a hypothesis in the beginning of our research. According to D. Schlesinger and Young Stephenson, 
as this definition is given in the Encyclopedia of Social Science. The definition of research is the manipulation of things, concepts or symbols for the purpose of generalizing to extend correct or verify knowledge, whether that knowledge aids in construction of theory or in the practice of an art. Try to understand this definition. It is the manipulation of the things. It can also be the manipulations of concepts or of the symbols. But why do we manipulate these things, concepts or symbols? For the purpose of generalizing to extend. Because we have to extend it. Generalizing to extent or to correct or to verify knowledge. Whether that knowledge aids in construction of a theory or in the practice of an art. That doesn't matter. But it is about extending, correcting or verifying the knowledge. See, some people consider research as a movement. But what kind of movement they consider it to be? They consider it to be a movement from known to the unknown. Of course, this is true because research is a movement from known to the unknown. What we try to do, we try to take a thing that is known to us and we take a journey towards the unknown. Therefore, some people consider research as a movement, a movement from known to unknown. Now, see, we as the human beings, we possess uh, the vital instinct of inquisitiveness. We all are inquisitive by nature. We inquire about the things. So as the human beings, we all possess the vital instinct of inquisitiveness when the unknown confronts us. That means when some unknown comes before us or when we encounter something that is not known to us, what do we do? We wonder and our inquisitiveness makes us probe and attain full and fuller understanding of the unknown. That is the human tendency. We try to understand the thing. We try to understand it fully. That is the human tendency. Now what is the method and the method which man or a woman or a researcher employs for obtaining the knowledge of whether the unknown can be termed as research. Remember the method is something which man or a woman or a researcher applies or employs for obtaining the knowledge of whatever the unknown can be termed as research. In short, the search for knowledge through objective and systematic method of finding solutions to a problem is research. This term seems to be a wonderful definition of research. In short, the, the search for knowledge through objective and systematic method of finding solutions to a problem is research. The systematic approach concerning generalization and formulation of a theory is also called research. Try to understand there can be several definitions of research and research can be termed into several definitions. I mean there is no limit to the definitions. Each person can make a different definition of research. There are several definitions of research but you need to understand research is finding out something new or discovering something new. I hope you have understood what is the research here. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll talk about the motivations of research and objectives of research in the next video.